Have you ever wondered what FRM students really ask their faculties? Today I have got this bowl full of your doubts which students at Quintage ask me every single week. I will pick them one by one and give you practical answers that will help you clear your FRM exam in one go. By the way, I am Prisha and I am FRM faculty at Quintage and if you are FRM part 1 or part 2 student, you will love this because you might also have the same doubts. Okay, so the first question is which book should we refer for studying FRM? So my answer to this question would be that you can start your studies with Schweizer or GARP official books. If you want to start in a very concise manner, then you can refer Schweizer. And for question bank, you can refer to Quintage question banks. Okay, let's move on to second question now. So the second question is, how much time should we devote for studying if we are working professionals? So if you are a working professional for FRM part 1, I would recommend you to take at least 3 months and for FRM part 2, take 5 months. And given that you are studying for 2 to 3 hours on every weekday and on weekends you are studying a little longer. And make sure that you are consistent because consistency is much better than been studying. Okay, let's see third question now. Book 2 and book 4 from FRM part 1 are killing me, what should I do? Okay, this is the very basic question which every student from FRM part 1 asks me. So the first thing I would say is stop making conclusions from others' opinions. First of all, start, pick your books up and then check what are the topics, start understanding the logics first and then try to solve the questions. This will make it much simpler rather than just messing up and thinking that it's very difficult, it's very difficult, start doing the things. Okay, let's see fourth query now. So the students is asking how many mocks should we consider giving before taking the exam. So I would recommend you to take at least two GARP official mocks and try to score at least above 60% in those mocks and if you are not getting the score of above 60% and you are getting the score something below 50 or 45% please consider taking two more mocks let's see fifth question now so the student is asking how should i remember all the formulas so we know that for both frm part 1 and part 2 there are a lot of formulas and remembering them is very important so my advice to you would be that stop relying on all the cheat sheets. Just make your own formula sheets and that to make it in a proper bookwise manner. And when one month is left for your exams, make sure you are going through all the formulas every day for 45 minutes. Trust me, this is going to work and you will remember all the formulas. Okay, let's move on to sixth question now. How many revisions should I consider taking before giving the exam? So for this, I would recommend you guys to take at least two revisions before giving any exam, whether it's FRM part 1 or part 2, make sure you are doing at least two revisions. So first revision should be very detail oriented and second revision, in second revision you should just focus on your weaker areas rather than mugging up all the things. Okay, let's move on to next question now. Operational risk in FRM part 2 is really boring. How should I tackle this book? Okay, so this question is asked by every student of FRM part 2 and here I would recommend you guys that don't do this book in one go. Rather than that, be consistent and make sure that you are doing this book every day for at least 30 to 45 minutes. In this way, you don't have to give a lot of time to this book and you will be very consistent and in end, this will give you very good results. Let's move on to last question for today. Should I consider taking coaching? Okay, so this question is asked by many people on LinkedIn. So here I would say that if you are someone who is from finance background and has proper structure and you know that you have the proper habit of studying, then you can consider doing self-study but if you are someone who lacks consistency or who does not has proper structure and looking for some accountability then you should consider taking coaching or if you are someone who is a fresher 
or who has to change your background from non finance background to finance background then also i would suggest that you should consider taking coaching for example at quintet students start from very basics and then we push the students to solve the case studies which are industry relevant and then the students are pushed to solve the mocks so that they are ready for uh, frm exam and this helps them pass the exam very easily This process gives you proper structure, accountability and acts as an insurance policy for your future. And that's all from the bowl today. I hope you have found this session useful. If yes, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And for any other queries, please comment down below. Good luck for your exam.